to the next dimension. Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, and today I'm going to be bringing up a very significant issue, which is lag. Lag for Australian and New Zealand players, and how Nexon should go and implement an Australian server, and I think with the help of you guys, we can go and get some awareness across. This is going to be via the form of a petition. Now, not so much we're going to go and force change. We're going to say you have to do this, Nexon, but just go and raise awareness around this issue and hopefully Nexon can go and do something about it. A link will be in the description below. Doesn't matter if you're Australian, doesn't matter if you're North American, Canadian. If you guys could sign it and just get some awareness across, that would be absolutely fantastic. However, go and listen to my explanation first. Now, Combat Arms is one of my most favorite games of all time. It's just something addicting about it. I don't know how Nexon's gone and formulated it, but it's absolutely amazing. But there's one thing I cannot stand, and that is the lag. The ping in this game is absolutely ridiculous, and there's such a massive disadvantage from people with a 2-bar ping to the extremely good connections of a 4-bar ping. There's a massive difference. Your sniper shots are not going to register, and that can be the massive difference between winning a gunfight and losing a gunfight. And every one of us Australian New Zealand players go and see this every single day. Nexon is a massive, massive company. They are the leader in free-to-play games. And they have a massive, massive profit margin. They could easily go and set up an Australian server. When you compare it to the rest of the world with their games like Blacklight Retribution, League of Legends, Tribes of Sand, Plant Side 2, Hawk and Team Fortress 2. And I could list so many more of free to play games that have Australian servers. It is absolutely needed for a game to go and expand. Now my plan may be a bit radical, but it can, can work. For people in the Oceania region, they will get their own server hosted in Australia. This will guarantee pings of under 100 and such result in a very enjoyable gameplay with barely any delay. 0.1 seconds it results to if you're at exactly 100, which is fantastic in comparison to half a second which we have to deal with now. Then there's going to be a server dedicated for North Americans and only North Americans can go and play on that server. And then there'll be one, one more, hosted of course in North America. But that's going to be a server which is dedicated for both Oceania and North America. So if you have some mates you want to go and play with, you don't, you're, you're not segregated from them. You can go and play together. But sometimes you want to go solo and actually play with a decent ping. And that is a very, very, very important thing I want to go and make sure you guys realize. That this plan would not be segregating the community, rather that some players that play alone can get really good ping, and some players that want to play with the friends they made all the way across the world, then boom, you can go and play with them as well. In my opinion, this can work, but I need your help. Go and sign a petition, and hopefully we can go and get at least a message from Nexon. If they're going to say, okay, there's going to be no Australian server, there's no way this is going to happen, then there we go, we're going to have to live with that. But if we can go and get some awareness and just get that message out from Nexon, that would be absolutely fantastic. But other than that, it's Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, out.